I remember as a kid back in Poland, we used to love to play Indians and cowboys. And of course, everybody wanted to be a sheriff. Well, today I have an honor to talk to real sheriff, moreover, Polish-American sheriff of uh, Passaic County, New Jersey, Mr. Richard uh, Berdnik. Welcome to the program. Thank you. So how is it to be a real sheriff? Uh, it's actually an honor and a privilege to serve the residents of Passaic County. Uh, again, something that uh, I wanted to do since I was a child. Um, it's actually a dream uh, that came true. Uh, and uh, I can say that uh, it's been an honor uh, to do it uh, for this time. It's an honor for Polish-American community to have Polish-American sheriff in such a great and big county as Passaic County. And we hope to have sheriffs in every other county in New Jersey and New York with Polish background. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Can you tell us a little more how did you become police officer? How was it? How did you decide to become a police officer? As a child, it was uh, something that was uh, ingrained in me and, uh, you know, I had no other desire to do anything else. And, uh, you know, as anything, if, if you want to do something, you have to put the time and the effort into, uh, you know, finding out more about it. And in this particular case, uh, I actually wound up volunteering for the city of Passaic uh, as an auxiliary police officer. Uh, I did it for nothing, um, and it was a situation where I got to meet a lot of fantastic officers, you know, mentors, people that told me what I needed to do uh, to fulfill that dream of, of being a police officer. And uh, because of that, I was able to uh, take a, an examination and become a Clifton police officer. Did you ever dream that you're going to be a sheriff of uh, Passaic County? Uh, Did it, it was, cross your mind? You know, again, uh, it's uh, something you always aspire to be uh, if you have the opportunity. Did I think that I would be one? No. Uh, did I dream of being one? Yes, absolutely. So uh, We talked uh, before the program about the, your Polish background and Polish roots. You told me a, a very interesting story about the, your parents that came from Poland. They actually went through the Siberia camps. Yes, uh, my mother uh, came from Lviv. Uh, my father came from the Polish's region of Poland. Both of them uh, were actually uh, taken in the middle of the night with their families, uh, put on a train, uh, unbeknownst to them, brought to Siberia, and uh, it was during that time that, uh, again, my mother lost not only uh, a younger brother, but both her parents uh, were, were lost there. Uh, my father, uh, you know, family of eight, actually nine children, lost one brother there, and then uh, ultimately uh, made their way back to the United States. My father, uh, by the way, of fighting with the uh, English army under a Polish command, and, uh, you know, uh, instilled a lot of value in me, uh, was a very, very proud, uh, you know, Polish individual, strong-willed, uh, gave me a lot of great things uh, as far as uh, family values and, uh, you know, again, with my mother and father, ethnic traditions that, uh, you know, we practice, of course, during Easter and, uh, you know, Vigilia and uh, brought up on Polish food and, and went to Polish school and, uh, my grandfather was actually uh, in the uh, Polish Forestry Service, so, uh, you know, I have a picture of him uh, in uniform, and uh, it served as an inspiration to me. So, in the uh, uh, Passaic County Sheriff's Office, they don't eat donuts, they eat ponczki. Ponczki, yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and you went to the Polish school? Yes, I did for, uh, for a little bit, yes, in the city of Passaic. Polish was spoken at home, so I understand more Polish than I speak. Be careful, everybody. <laughs> No, so, you uh, speak Polish. And, uh, Próbowaliśmy przed programem wszystko rozumie sheriff i mówi. Yes, tak. <laughs> so uh, one funny story is one time uh, I did stop a car when I was a police officer and uh, it was a Polish couple and it was a husband and wife and uh, again I was uh, a young officer and I went up to the car and uh, the woman in the car is yelling at her husband for making an illegal turn and the husband is yelling at the wife in Polish back saying, stop it, you know, I'm going to get a ticket if, if you keep arguing. And it was funny because I understood what they were saying and uh, I said, you know, uh, pomalo and be uh -huh. careful and they were surprised, uh, you know, I said a few Polish words and sent them on their way. So uh, it's a great thing, so. Since you're the sheriff of Passaic County, what is the, what are the issues that you're faced on a daily basis? As the sheriff, uh, the responsibility is several, uh, one being the courthouse, um, making sure that the judges are protected, the jurors that come to the courthouse are protected. Uh, we also have uh, the Passaic County Jail uh, overseeing uh, the jail. We have a warden and again making sure that uh, the prisoners are, are kept in confinement um, to make sure that uh, you know if uh, treatment is necessary that they get the necessary treatment. And also we have Sheriff's Officer Patrol, so we patrol of course county roads, we assist municipal police departments, uh, and there's all different aspects of it uh, as far as a canine, mounted bomb squad, SWAT team, 
And, uh, you know, there's uh, a whole different host of things that we do. And you have uh, rapid response? Uh, yeah, we SWAT have a SWAT teams. team, yes. And uh, we do that for uh, the 16 cities within the county. And uh, it allows us to mobilize uh, a large group of officers in the event uh, of an emergency. And even uh, most recently, uh, we even sent officers to Bergen County when they had a, a problem at the, uh, the mall there. Is the SWAT team called upon frequently or not? Um, it all depends on, on if there's a situation that arises, you know, somebody with a gun or a, a violent situation. So, uh, yeah, from time to time they are called out, yes. So maybe I should ask differently, uh, how is crime in Passaic County? Well, you know, crime is everywhere. I don't, I don't have to tell you. Uh, our problems here in Passaic County, you know, drugs, guns, uh, and, uh, you know, gangs, uh, major problems here. And, uh, you know, what uh, the drugs lead to, again, as I said, guns, but also burglaries. You know, people become dependent on narcotics um, and uh, to steal from their own families. They have a habit that they have to support to go out. Uh, they'll commit burglaries uh, just to get money to, uh, to get the drugs they need for the day. Well, thankfully, we have a, a good team of police officers under your watch. And uh, to be honest with you, we don't see it on a daily basis. Right. So it seems that you're doing a good job to oh, keep thank it. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> keep it away from, you know, from everyday uh, life right. of the residents of Passaic County. Do you have a, a traffic division or not? Uh, we have motorcycles, yes, that we have that go out there and... Uh, Issue again, tickets? Yeah, they do. They do at uh, certain times and, uh, you know, for the serious violations, uh, we're out there and, uh, you know, we uh, enforce the motor vehicle laws, yes. So, on the other hand, what is the most uh, rewarding uh, for you? The most being, rewarding... Being a sheriff. The most rewarding thing for me uh, of being a sheriff, of course, is, uh, first of all, uh, being a, a proud Polish American again, you know, being raised uh, in a Polish family, but going out and be able to help people. That's really, uh, again, uh, was the gist of it from, from childhood. Um, and I got that from my parents, you know, they would uh, take their shirt off their back to help anybody. Um, and, uh, you know, just going out and helping somebody in a time of need or an emergency when uh, there's, there's chaos or panic um, and, and being able to do good things. I know there's a lot of Polish uh, kids and parents that would love to see their kids go to uh, police. It's, when you look at the economy, that's one aspect. Right. This is a steady job. And uh, a lot of kids dream to be either a police officer or go to army or be a firefighter. Right. If there are young kids or students after high school or students in college thinking what you know how to approach it what would you recommend what would be the first step to look into uh, becoming a police officer well there's several things that you have to do uh, one of course most importantly is have a clean background and a clean record so that goes well before high school uh, you know into being a child you have to make sure that you have a clean record that you don't get involved in situations uh, really that you shouldn't be involved in and that goes from getting involved with the wrong people or doing the wrong thing so uh, that's first and foremost. From there, uh, again, uh, it's called civil service by us. It's a process where you have to take an examination. And the way that you would do that is, is that you would go online and you would look at the New Jersey Department of Personnel website and go on that frequently and you'll see that they list various examinations. And what I would recommend is that the person that's interested take as many examinations as they can, number one, for experience, and number two, you know, the idea is to get into the system and, and start learning. So that would be my recommendation. One other thing that we do have, uh, we have an internship program at the Sheriff's Department where we take college students and we bring them in. And sometimes it's required by the college that they do an internship, it's not paid, but we afford them the opportunity to come in by us and go through various departments. You know, we'll so let what, them what would the student do when they come in, let's say, how many times a week, twice a week? Yeah, it depends. It depends on their schedule, but usually once or twice a week. Um, you know, they have to have so many hours in that internship. So, uh, you know, there's various aspects. And what we try to do is just give them a general knowledge of everything that we do. So, you know, one week we may have them in the courthouse. The next week we may move them and actually let them see the jail and the way the jail operates. Uh, we also have uh, a crime scene investigation unit that we do countywide. So uh, for any incidents such as burglaries, uh, major crimes, our crime scene unit goes out, we photograph these scenes, uh, we do it for the police department. So we have these people go on ride-alongs with the officers and, you know, it affords them the opportunity to see what we do, to see if they're interested in doing that kind of work. 
and at the same time, it allows us to evaluate them possibly as a future employee. So it probably gives them a good points when, when they later on in the future definitely. seek the job. Oh, you work at the sheriff's office. Absolutely, and it looks good on your resume. It definitely does. Yeah, so. great. Well, I can imagine you're an extremely busy uh, man, uh, being a sheriff. Uh, how can you find time to be a Grand Marshal of Pulaski Parade? Well, because I'm not sure if, if you know, this is a 2014 Grand Marshal of Pulaski Parade. Yeah, it's an honor, it's an honor to be uh, a representative of the Polish community. As I said, I'm a proud Polish-American. You know, I think of my father uh, when, I, when I'm going to do this and, and my family. Um, so I'm honored to, uh, to, to be the, uh, the Grand Marshal and, of course, General uh, Kazimierz Pulaski, uh, you know, a phenomenal general, a well-respected general. So uh, to actually be able to do that for me uh, is a great honor. Finding the time is a whole other story. Uh, as I said, there's many events that are required uh, or, or requested that uh, you go to as a Grand Marshal, but the problem for me sometimes is the fact that as sheriff, I can't be at everything. You know, my job is seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And I have a schedule uh, really pretty much from morning until evening, uh, pretty much every day. So, you know, events are scheduled. I try to make what I can. And uh, again, if an emergency comes up, it throws off the schedule completely. And, uh, you know, I have to, uh, to regroup uh, to get that done. But, you know, uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's an honor to, uh, to, to be the Grand Marshal, I have to say that. Yeah, we know. We tried to schedule uh, this meeting with you and you were called upon the, to action a couple of times. Yes. So the one thing uh, we're going to do is confiscate your phone and the beeper <laughs> on, a, on a Sunday when the Pulaski Parade is going. <laughs> right, right. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> but uh, uh, we can probably expect a little more police presence, not only from Passaic County, but probably from, from other uh, counties and from New York because Grand Marshal is police officer, right? Is that yeah, true? Well, they have the, uh, the Polish Police Officers Association and I know the men and women of the Sheriff's Department look forward. Uh, they've participated in this event before. Uh, it's definitely a big parade. It's a great parade. It's a great time of year. So uh, I hope that they come out and support not only their sheriff, but of course the, the Polish community. Uh, would you like to invite people to parade? Yes, I would. Uh, I would like to ask each and every one of you to please show great Polish spirit and pride and come out for the Pulaski Day Parade this year, 2014 bring family, friends, and most important, good weather. Yeah, good weather is very important, but even if it rains, two years ago I think it was raining, it was pretty good. Right, right. And a lot of people showed up. Well, I'm going to ask you a last question. Uh, uh, we are running daily newspaper. We invite people to the programs. And uh, I see that there is not too many Polish Americans that really want to go into politics, into high positions like yours in the state, in a local government. What do you think is the problem? Why, why don't we try to follow your path, let's say? Uh, every individual is different, and it depends what you aspire to do. And uh, the fact is, is again, you know, uh, to be involved in politics, I, I think that, uh, you know, in, in this particular system, you, you know, you have to be involved here in the community uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's something really you have to desire to do. So uh, it's not an easy task. It's demanding. It requires a lot of time. So you know, that may be uh, one of the hindrances to, to people. Um, so uh, to each their own, you know, and I would encourage, uh, you know, any, any Polish American to get involved and come out and, you know, represent our community. Uh, we should have a say. Thank you very much for coming, for sharing your experience. We wish you good luck. Thank you. We hope you're not going to be only a Sheriff Passe County, but we're going to see you advance in the future. Thank you. And uh, good luck during the Pulaski Parade. Great. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, and I invite you to our future programs. Good night.